A management token provides read and write access to the content of your stack. It is used along with the stack API key to make authorized content management API calls. Let's see how to create management tokens in content stack. In your stack, go to settings and then select tokens. Under the management tokens tab, you will see the management token button. You will be able to see this button only if you are the owner or admin of a stack since only these roles can create management tokens. Clicking this button will take you to the token creation form. Enter a relevant name and description for this token. Under permissions, select the permission you want to assign to this token. For instance, if you select read, this token will be able to fetch content, but will not have permission to create, update, or delete content. Adding write permissions allows performing almost all actions at the stack level. Check our limitations section in our docs to know what this token cannot do. Then under expiry, you can define if this token will never expire or should have a specific expiry date. Upon expiry, the management token is rendered invalid. You can also select the notify via email checkbox if you want to get notified when a token nears its expiration date. Once you do this, click on generate token. You will see the management token on a new dialog. Copy the token for future reference since it will not be visible once you close this dialog. You can now use this management token to make authorized content management API requests at the stack level. Click cancel to go back to the list page. The list page lists all the management tokens created until now. You can edit the details of the token, such as its name, description, and expiration date. However, you cannot change the permissions. To delete a token, click this icon and select delete. Please note that deleting a token expires a token immediately. Lastly, it's important to remember that you can create a maximum of 10 management tokens for a stack. For more details, visit our documentation site. Thank you.